Hi guys, this video I just want to do a quick look at the um, figure of Dante from Dante's Inferno. I um, just want to give a quick look at it. Uh, I'm not going to go on too much to be honest but um, for me it's a very underrated figure to be honest. You can, you can still pick it up quite easily on eBay. Um, not a mat massive price to be honest but um, I, don't, I don't know if it's I, I guess the game didn't do as well as people hoped or well I don't know to be honest but for me I thought it was a brilliant game I absolutely love playing the game um, and the, f the figure himself is, is an absolutely fantastic figure as well to be honest um, the detail that has gone into this guy is brilliant and whoever made, you know, did the sculpt for this figure should really be proud of themselves to be honest. Um, and like I say all the, the detail and all the little extra little things that got, I mean this, this, having this material here could have quite easily been plastic um, but they decided to go with a shredded material on there and got the little crucifixes hanging off hanging off the bottom um, they're a soft plastic so it's not really any worries them getting broken or anything um, uh, I think I, I think I've got an alternate hand for him somewhere thinking about it just off the top of my head I think I do somewhere I'm not too sure um, but I think there's a more open open hand somewhere uh, you get the little crucifix as well I don't know if you if you haven't played the game. I really really, you know, recommend the game to be honest. It's very God of Wary button bashing sort of game, but brilliant. I I I personally really enjoyed the game to be honest. Crucifix can be held there as well in these little loops of his leather straps there as well. Um and he comes obviously with his trusty sigh. I believe off the top of my head does it come apart down here or something it comes apart somewhere so you can feed it through so don't if you do have them don't try and force it through it ain't going to come through or force the back bit here um, and the saw itself is is really well detailed you cannot fault that you know you've got the skull on there um, the only thing I suppose could have happened would be if these little bits here were hollow as opposed to just paint it in um, but I'm not going to complain about that when you see the level of detail gone into all the pieces of armour the chain mail on his head his, his crown the detail gone on there is fantastic um, but in terms of articulation we've got some movement in the head not much because obviously the, the, the chain mail restricts quite a bit of that um, ball joint in the in the shoulder, um, ball joint obviously as well. Sorry, rotation in the elbow. You've got a swivel, I believe, as well on the wrist. Rotation and it swivels as well, pivots as well. Um, ab crunch, I believe. Yep, yeah, on the on him there, and obviously rotation in the waist as well. Um, it's got this, you know, the, the, the what I call the funny necker waist groin joint. But I personally think it's, I personally prefer this um, join here because you can get in so many better um, positions and everything. Um, and obviously, you've got your rotation in the oh, rotation in the in the thigh, rotation in the knee, and obviously pivot in the knee and rotation and I believe a pivot in the foot yep yeah, as well so there's t absolutely tons of articulation going on there with this figure faultless in terms of articulation faultless in terms of detail you can even see all the tattooing going on oh sorry the, the, the print of the material I should say sorry on his chest um, so yeah I 100% recommend getting this figure if you haven't got him and if you like the game 
absolute brilliant addition to your to your figure collection. Like I say, very underrated figure. Um, I don't know if it's an underrated game. I think quite a lot of people did like it, but um, I, I don't know why the figure hasn't sold, or there might just be absolutely tons of them made. But you can you can still pick them up quite nice and cheap. So um, in terms of that, I, I always say if you can get a figure nice and cheaply take them out of packet <laughs> you know and then you can enjoy it a bit more to be honest and um, got soft soft rubber there as well and like you know all these bits of armor as well on there all soft rubber stuck on so I mean, it's really 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 good figure really underrated figure um, so yeah get him <laughs> okay guys as always thanks for watching take care and I'll catch you again soon all the best bye bye